Don't you just love the fall, Ollie? You can smell it in the air. The trees are turning, the leaves are falling, the fire's crackling, and you know what else? What? No, the drink. No, the drink I get at Starbs every time I go, the pumpkin spice latte with oat milk. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. So unfortunately summer is done and now we're into fall. And what does that mean? That means it's pumpkin spice season. It's in our food, it's in our drinks, it's in our beauty products, it's in everything. It could even be the secret spice that cures COVID. We don't know. So for the next 24 hours, I am only gonna be eating pumpkin spice foods because pumpkin spice is a lot like me. It doesn't last long, it's limited time only. So we gotta capitalize on that today. So I can't even, I'm just so hungry. So let's get into meal number one. than my usual morning mess. So this is what you get when a college girl opens up Reggie Set's cookbook. So we made some pumpkin spice French toast, just added in some pumpkin puree and pumpkin spice to the traditional recipe, topped it off with some Greek yogurt and some Blue Star pumpkin spice uh, protein powder because I feel like protein will be scarce today. And then of course, we're gonna top it off with some syrup and some pumpkin spice Cheerios made with real pumpkin, hints of cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. And I'm gonna say right now, I'm not very familiar with pumpkin spice. I've never had a pumpkin spice latte, and I'm usually in food coma well before the pumpkin pie is served. But I feel like pumpkin pie is a lot like, like flavored coffee and scented candles. It's like, it smells inviting, but then once you put it in your mouth, it just takes this unexpected dark turn. I'm gonna put this on top. But of course, we're just gonna try it dry first. You can learn a lot that way. I can't say it tastes good. Like the smelling part was good. The eating part was, you know what, I wouldn't say bad. It's a bit, it's a bit hamster foodish. I will say though, it's a lot more complex than a traditional Cheerio. Mm -hmm. I associate pumpkin spice as being like a very aggressive, in your face flavor profile, but this is very like, it kind of like saunters in. It gets you like mid-roll. Like you don't really even notice the pumpkin spice is there. And then once it's at the back of your throat, you're like, hey, there's pumpkin there. I actually recommend trying this out. I'll link it in the description. I feel like the more I'm eating this thing, the less I'm liking it. I don't know. I mean, I just can't reconcile pumpkin spice in my mouth for some reason. It just It's just not cooperating right now. And like, it seems like the more I eat it, like the more it tastes like, I feel like if I close my eyes, I feel like I'm just like in the middle of a pasture full of cows. I just like, it just smells like farm. A bit dirtish. That was meal one. This was also the pre-workout meal. So unfortunately uh, I don't have pump, Actually, you know what? Fortunately, I don't have pumpkin spice pre-workout, so what we're gonna do is just improvise and go to Tim Hortons. Hi, can I get a medium pumpkin spice ice cap with milk? Sorry, medium. Can I get a medium pumpkin spice ice cap with milk, please? Yes, please, made with milk. Made with milk. Yes. Anything else? And then a singular pumpkin spice Timbit. Okay, 460, I love you. Thank you. All right, so as you guys can probably tell, it's a beautiful day here in Toronto. So for the pre-workout meal, I got a pumpkin spice ice cap as well as one pumpkin spice Timbit. So we're gonna go ahead and try this thing. I mean, sweets and coffee just don't mix. I don't like sweets in my coffee. I like it black. I need to go back in one more time. 
I'm not getting a lot of pumpkin spice at all right now. It tastes very coffee-y, which I, which I like. It's very subtle. Like you would never guess that there's pumpkin spice in this at all. I will say though, it's very sweet. It kind of like grabs your tongue and wrestles it a little bit. All right, like now let's go with the uh, Timbit. So I just got one. I went Lance Armstrong style, one ball. Again, not much pumpkin spice. It's like Tim Hortons is microdosing this stuff. If anything, it tastes more like gingerbread than pumpkin spice. It's like if the gingerbread man came and like did the deed with this thing. I actually like this. I mean, the fact that it's less pumpkin spice and I like it just tells me I don't like pumpkin spice at all. But this is succulent. Oh, that whipped cream really thickens it up. I love whipped cream. It's not usually on my beverages. So when I think of pumpkin spice, I think of Uggs, I think of TNAs, and I think of basic girls. So we're actually gonna be following a fellow Gymshark basic athlete, Savannah Wright's workout. She's taking me through a virtual workout. You know what, she embraces the stereotype. She loves pumpkin, which I think is awesome. So we're gonna go through her workout, then after she's gonna choose my post-workout meal. Oh hey, what's up Will? What's up Will's YouTube family? Hope you guys are doing well. Will, I hope you're having a wonderful time eating all pumpkin spice and everything nice, huh, huh? So I'm super stoked that you wanted to do a workout with Miwa. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite staples when it goes to lower body day, booty work, leg work, you name it, I'm gonna show you. And I'm gonna throw in some fun little, little hit for ya because your girl likes to get sweaty and really amp up the intensity no matter what she's working out. So that's gonna be a fun little challenge for you, all right? And without further ado, let's get in to this workout. So first things first, we're gonna warm up. We're gonna activate those glutes, all right? So we're going to do a hip thrust you can throw in a band, but you're going to simply be lying on the ground and thrusting those glutes up. You will be doing 15 reps and three sets. Oh, and did I also forget to mention that I challenge you to either do 20 jumping jacks or five to 10 burpees in between each set. I tell ya, we're gonna get a little sweaty for this workout. So you guys heard us, we're doing hip thrust super set with some burpees and no matter what the workout is, you always get a good sweat on. Once you're all warmed up, let's head to do a fun little superset of a sumo squat with a dumbbell. That's going to be 15 reps and three sets, followed by immediately, immediately, squat pulses. And we're gonna do 10 reps and three sets of that as well. Some call this a pulse squat, I call this my Halo Kill Victory Dance. Pulses burn, man. Oh. All right, guys, well, that was the first superset. Now, let's see what's next. Moving on, find a bench, find anything. We're going to do a Bulgarian split squat. We're going to do 12 reps and three sets for each leg, okay? Grab a weight or don't do it weighted. Up to you. Just when you think you're done, you got some jumping jacks. Next up, we love a good RDL, Romanian deadlift. We're going to do 15 reps and four sets of Romanian deadlifts after the Bulgarian split squat. Okay, so that's Romanian deadlifts done. Let's see what we have next. Then heck, we might as well throw in walking lunges because we love a good weighted walking lunge. We do? Not on this channel. So you're going to do 20 reps and three sets, so 10 on each leg. 
After that, you could do it on a bench, you could do it on the floor, but we're gonna go back into hip thrusts and we're going to add some weight to that. We're going to do 15 reps in four sets of the hip thrust because we're trying to get a booty. All right, Will, remember, we're getting the booty gain. And last but not least, we're going to finish it with one minute of jumping squats, ooh, my favorite, and we're gonna repeat that three times. So I'm really excited to see you suffer through that because it's a great time, it's a great burn. I hope you liked this workout, Will. Have fun. So usually we save the best thing for last, but apparently Savannah hates me. So three sets of one minute jump squats and let's do it. Why can't a minute feel longer? I want it to. So I'm gonna rest around a minute and I get two more sets. All right guys, well that was the workout. Thank you Savannah for the booty pump, I hate you. I'm just kidding, you're awesome. Her link will be in the description. So now let's see what she has in store for us for the post-workout meal. All right, well, I hope that killed your legs. I hope it was fun for you. And I get to decide what you eat next. And I'm so excited because you know why? Will has informed me, has truly informed me. He has never had a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. The basic of basic, the queen of basics. Might as well put a crown on the pumpkin spice latte, okay? Because she takes the cake for all. So Will, I challenge you to get a pumpkin spice latte followed by a pumpkin scone at Starbucks because they're wonderful and I love them so much. And who doesn't love scones, come on. Hi, can I get a grande pumpkin spice latte, please? Do you want whiskey like that? Absolutely. And then I will do a pumpkin scone, please. Can you keep that up too? Thank you. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. No, I'm gonna slam it right now. Thanks, have a good day. So as you guys heard, we have a pumpkin spice latte and a pumpkin spice scone. So apparently protein doesn't exist for Savannah. Uh, so let's give this pumpkin spice thing a taste test. I've never had one of these before, and this is like crack for the basic girls. And I feel like this is gonna be better, because in my opinion, pumpkin spice is just better with like warmer things. I just don't think it belongs in something cold. And I feel like I have to go into this not thinking it's a caffeinated beverage, just thinking more like it's a, a warm milkshake. Oh, I sure got that like one eighth sweet, yo. Again, I'm not getting pumpkin spice. I'm getting a lot of chai and I love a good chai tea latte. So I actually don't mind this. It is just aggressively sweet. Eh, not bad. All right, so let's get into this pumpkin spice scone here. So I wanted to adulterate it and get it warmed up, but she said I couldn't because there was some icing on top. Give it a little whiff, investigate it like a dog. It smells like gingerbread. Oh man, this is cakey and flaky. Usually stones are like dry and crumbly. That's why you gotta be hydrated because you never know when you're gonna need to use some spit. But with this, this is moist, man. So this is not a lot of volume of food. And surprisingly, this is like the highest calorie meal of the day. And I feel really bad for people who just don't understand calories. You know, someone will come to the drive through and be like, oh, you know, I just got a latte. I just got a scone. I can just feast at dinner. But guys, this is 480 calories. This is 380 calories. You should not be consuming this regularly. It is just ridiculous. So just always be aware, you know? Know what you're putting in your mouth. But of course, it is still good to treat yourself sometimes because my mouth does enjoy it. We're about like <clears throat> two thirds of the way done. At this point now, it tastes like I lost a bet at Bed Bath & Beyond or something. I'm like drinking like a blended candle. It's actually worse than I thought it was gonna taste. And I'm sorry to all you people watching out there that love this stuff, but I don't get it. All right, well, pumpkin spice is done. Tasted the queen, wouldn't taste her again. So the plan was to go to a pumpkin patch, take some cute photos, show off my beauty pump, but obviously with the rain, we can't do that. So what we're gonna do is go pick up a pumpkin and then take it back to my place and figure out what we're gonna do with it. 
So I went out and picked up a few pumpkins and I went online and searched what can you do with pumpkins and while I found a lot of content for my OnlyFans, I didn't find a whole lot for YouTube, but I did find something. So I picked up this beautiful big pumpkin that has a little bit of flaws, but the flaws are what are what makes it beautiful, you know? So it has a little bit of a curve, but who doesn't have a little bit of a curve? A straight one's pretty hard to come by these days, at least from my experience. So what we're gonna do is actually paint to the top like a donut, have a little arts and crafts sesh, bring me back to like my grade four days and let's do it. Well, it looks like my pumpkin is now ready to go to Coachella. So it's supposed to be a donut. You can see like the, the icing with like the sprinkles, but it looks like it had an affair with the strawberry. So what I'm gonna do is actually let this uh, set on the side and this made a nice little piece of the front door. And then now we're gonna make some dinner. So what has been all the buzz is this pumpkin spice macaroni and cheese. And it has intrigued me greatly because pumpkin spice with something savory just sounds pretty interesting. So I actually ordered it two weeks ago from Craft Dinner and just like my dad, it never showed up. So what we're gonna do is actually improvise and make our own homemade one. So I found an easy pumpkin spice mac and cheese thing online. Looks pretty simple to make. These are all ingredients you need. Gonna put it all together right now, starting with the root. So I have two tablespoons of butter right here that I'm waiting until it gets a little bit brown. And what I'm gonna do is add in one eighth of a cup of flour, gonna combine that together and let that kind of go for a little bit until it turns brown and starts to smell a little bit nutty. And that is a roux. And that's what's gonna make the um, mac and cheese very creamy when you add the milk in. Then after that, we're gonna add the cheese, the pumpkin puree, Dijon mustard, nutmeg, salt, pepper, all this stuff to kind of flavor it. And also I'm gonna add in some turkey, the whole entire pack, because obviously I haven't had any protein today. I'm gonna get a solid 85 grams from this one pound right here. And I just feel like turkey just kind of goes with the Thanksgiving theme with the pumpkin and stuff like that. So I think it's gonna turn out pretty well. Yep, that smells familiar. It smells a little bit nutty. So now it's time to add in the milk. So I'm actually gonna use cashew milk. It doesn't say to do that, but I just think it might work and it just might save a whole lot of calories. So we'll see how that goes here. So adding one cup. Take a look at this sauce. Like it came out really nice. It looks like a thick pumpkin soup. It's gonna add in the nudes. It's like a, a basic girl hamburger helper situation. It's an interesting aroma in this kitchen, that's for sure. I'm definitely excited to try this. It does smell a lot more pumpkin-y than cheesy. And last but not least, just like with anything you love, top it off with a little bit of cheese. And then we're gonna put it into the oven for around 30 to 40 minutes. And then we're gonna enjoy this. What's so what do you think? It? It's gonna be good? What's in it? It's pretty much exactly mac and cheese, just with added pumpkin puree, nutmeg, and then I added in some turkey just for some protein, because I've had no protein today, pretty much. There you go. You know, whoever came up with the concept of pumpkin and cheese to join forces in one dish, what do you think they must've been thinking? It's not like, it's not like tequila and handcuffs when you know it's gonna be a good combo. Oh, you smell it? Is this an actual thing though? Yeah, but yeah, Kraft Dinner has it. I was waiting for a cheers. Oh, okay. oh. It doesn't taste like a whole lot. It has like a, a baby food quality to it. <laughs> Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Do you think a baby would like this? I mean. There's some pretty judgmental babies out there. I think much. they'd like it. But it's not bad. Did your latte taste like this? The latte tastes like ass. I keep going back to it. Mm -hmm. It smells more like pumpkin than it tastes. I'm gonna give it like, it's good, don't get me wrong. It just doesn't taste like what you'd expect it to taste like. Like I was expecting like a, a hearty down home, stick to your ribs mac and cheese. And I'm just getting like- From pumpkin? Just like a bland, blandness to it. So I'd probably give it like a, I'm gonna give it like a, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. I think that's fair. I like the, I like the baked top. Yeah. Nice little texturally inclusive dish. Thank you, dear. I don't know that. You know it. Chip I'm calories. a man. I gotta eat. Yeah. Chip calories for that? Nope. That's I'm well good. over. By that point, screw it. There's no way. What did you eat today? A whole pumpkin pie? I had a scone. A scone? I had a scone. scone. You don't say scone. If you say scone, I'm gonna have to escort you out. <laughs> you say scone? 480 calories. For one? For one. People pop that in the morning, eh? And then I wanted to get it toasted, and she's like, she's like, nah, fam. Not toasted. There's, there's icing on it. But like, it had this like gingerbread quality to it. And it had this like moistness and like cakiness and it just like, it just like a, opened up a world for me that I never knew I ever wanted to enter. 
Because now I kind of want to go back all the time. They look dry. They were, it was opposite of dry. It was a wet be? experience. I'm super cold. You should go check under my pillow. Can focus here. Be careful with that now. I need it for later. Man, I'm getting hot. Like, holy mackerel, I'm getting the pumpkin sweats. I'm getting the basic girl carb high. All my my glutes, glutes are pumped, too. I, was, I noticed that. So if I take my pants off tonight and I look extra thick, don't be, surprised. Don't be, don't be alarmed, yeah. <laughs> 2,500 calories down the hatch. And then all you have left, we're gonna be making some pumpkin spice cookie ice cream sandwiches. Aren't you excited? Super excited. Me too. All right, we're just chilling right now, watching my boy Eric the Electric attempt the anabolic 10,000 calorie challenge in one sitting. Just when I started to feel good about myself. Come on, Eric. Like, like, come on. Anyway, so for desserts, we are making some ice cream cookie sandwiches. The cookies that we are using are these um, Pillsbury pumpkin spice cookies. I don't know about you, but the Pillsbury Doughboy looks extremely cute or kind of like a murderer. There's like no in between. I don't know. I'm kind of undecided what I think. And then the ice cream that's going in is the Halo Top Pumpkin Pie Ice Cream. I hate pumpkin pie, but I love this flavor. So we're just waiting for the, the cookies to cool right now, and then that's dessert. Take a look at that. I don't know about you, but there's nothing more calming than walking into a Whole Foods. Do you feel me? I feel like when I go in, like the calmness that I get, I can't really express. Also, this pint of ice cream is $7.99. Talk about being basic and going broke at Whole Foods. Oh, God, man. Mmm. Damn, that's good. So that cookie is gangster, yeah. man. Pillsbury Doughboy. I love you, boy. Eric's struggling on the raft right now. A little bit of a throwback. All right, guys. Well, that was the cookie sandwich, and that is going to wrap up the video. That was 24 hours of pumpkin spice foods. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.